All right, I want to explore um, summations in a little more detail. We have learned about formula, and now we're going to um, do some formulas with summations. And I kind of hinted at it already um, when I was going over formula that I showed, where's my pen? My pen's stuck. Oh, this happened in the previous video, and I stopped and re-recorded it, but there we go. Um, that we had a variable that represents the average of all my x's. And I said, hey, we can take the sum of all my x's and divide it by the number of x's. And, and so we say this is finding the mean, right, or the average. But mean will be the word we use. We'll be talking about the three M's, mean, median, and mode. You know, the tendency of data to have some middle. And this is the mean. And so this formula manipulates a sum. And we can think of it as, let's give, the, I'm going to use the example in the worksheet that if these are my x values that I have measured one two three and so there are my x values and I want to find the mean of these then I'm going to take the sum so that's 23 plus 40 plus 65, plus 52, plus 38, plus 41, and whatever the answer is, I'm going to divide it by the number of them there was. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so I go running to my calculator, and that was 259 divided by 6. Yeah, calculator is your friend. And when I do the division of that, I get 4, 3.166667 towards the end of the calculator because it's a repeating decimal. And I, th I think we're going to round it to one decimal place, which is 43.2. And because I round it, I'm going to use my approximately equal sign. And so my mean of these numbers is approximately 43.2. And so this is what the summation sign was good for, and this is a good example of a formula. We have this compact way of describing what a mean is, and when we go to use it, it expands out into what we need. And so this becomes like a sentence, and this becomes us doing the sentence. Well, we can do uh, multiple um, evaluations and a common thing is a weighted mean so I'm gonna put a W here to say it's weighted and this happens when you have um, like in this course um, homework is worth a percent of the grade it's not a one-for-one one. and so you can have weighted means um, and a weighted mean is whatever the X value is times its weight divided by the sum of all the weights. And so for example, if you have weighted scores um, where you know certain um, exams are only so much of the grade and then a final is more of the grade, so the exam score and the weight can look like this. And so an 82, a 76, a 75. I'm doing the worksheet examples, kind of to spell them out. 81, 90. And this is worth 15% or 0.15. This is worth 15%. This is worth 15%. And this is worth 15%. And this final one is worth 40%. And so what I want to do is I want to do the sum of these multiplied together 
divided by the total of the weights. And I, I actually tend to add my weights up first. So 15 plus 15 is 30. 15 plus, or 30 plus 15 is 45. Plus another 15 is 60. Plus 40 is 1, right? 0.1, right? You put on the, or 1.0, sorry. So you put this on the calculator, you're going to get 0 0.3, 0 0.45, 0 0.6, and then in 1. So the sum of my weights is going to be 1. I have a tendency of doing that one first. And then in doing the sum up here, well, I have to sum all the x's times w's. So I have 82 times 0.15 plus, because the sum tells me grab the first one, then add the next, 76 times 0.15 plus 75 times 0.15 plus 81 times, I'll stop being so overdramatic, plus 90 times 0.4. Now it's neat, I'm dividing by 1, and um, which is why oh, I tend to, to do these. But what I end up getting is 82 times 0.15 is 12.3. 76 times 12.5 is 11.4. 75 times 1.5 is 11.25. 81 times 0.15 is 12. 0.15 and 90 times 0.4 is 36 and again all divided by 1. So I add up the top. Let's see here if I can add up the top. This is a problem with doing things ahead of time in your notes. So I add up the top and I get 83.1 divided by 1, or 83.1 is the average, or the mean score, right? And this is a weighted mean. So let's look at what I did here. I had a sum upstairs and a sum downstairs. And so my formula told me I was going to divide the results of the sum upstairs by the result of the sum downstairs. Now because I do a lot of weighted means, I do grade books and whatnot, I tend to do my weights down below first. So I want to make sure it adds up to 100%, which is 1. And then in the weighted grade up above is my weight times my score. My weight times the score. Weight times the score. And so the sum tells me multiply the two together for each column and add it to the multiply together for the next column and add it to the multiply together for the next column. And so this is a compact way of storing all of this information. 